Okay, question 11. Um, which two options would place a barrier across all qubits to the quantum circuit below? <clears throat> so again, um, starting from the bottom like I typically do. Don't exactly know why. I think I found that, I don't know, because this one, you know, the bottom one was incorrect, so maybe I found the answers to be, the answers found faster by going from the bottom. Um, but starting from the bottom, QC that barrier all. Okay, so what you want to do for this question and the questions before it is you'd want to familiarize yourself with the quantum circuit API document that I pulled up. Again, this one. So what I did when I was trying to learn about this question, I would, I would do control F, barrier, and see what the functions for barriers look like. So we have the, um, you know, the, the clear example of the, the barrier written out. And then, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit more searching. Um, but let's go with the, oh yeah, yeah. So, so what I did was um, barrier, uh, I wish I could have this screen up and the paper in front of me at the same time. But they all use this uh, dot barrier command. So dot barrier is used on all of them. So what I did was I searched barrier on the uh, quantum circuit API and I came up with the result. But what I tried doing, and I'll do it right here in front, is I tried, you know, when I was going through this trying to learn, um, you'll, you'll find yourself going through this quantum circuit um, API document a lot, which is why it's on the main document, the main hub of resources. I tried searching um, um, barrier underscore all, and it just doesn't come up. It's not, it's not a command. And I, I, you know, I think I remember writing down um, like, man, I, you know, I wish it was this easy. Let's see what, what it says. Uh, option E. Oh, right here, they're switched. Oh. Right here, they're, they're switched. So, you know, this one is a justification for D, and this one's justification for E. So let's see, E, <coughs> QC.barrier all. I said, I said, dot barrier underscore all does not exist. Uh, Measure all, okay, and, I, and then I, you know, the next idea, the next thought that came in my head was like, what all commands do exist? Because I think in the previous example, example, dot all is like a, or underscore all is like a, a family of operations, because measure all does exist. So be careful with that. That was the solution for this one. Uh, C was correct, so measure all was correct. So I was like wondering, you know, is, is it a family of operations? Is, is um, barrier underscore all, all underscore all, uh, a valid operation, and it is not. So this is, this is the moment where I realized that. So uh, barrier underscore all does not exist. Uh, dot measure underscore all is the only underscore all command that does exist. So uh, um, maybe that might be too broad of a generalization. It might, be the, it might not be the only one, but that's the main one. And I tried searching the document, and we'll see here. If we search actually underscore all, we see the measure all command used in an example and then we see the actual definition of uh, underscore all. So if you see on the exam uh, uh, a solution that has underscore all as a possible example, and it's not measure all, you can automatically rule that option out. So D, QC.barrier3. Let's see here. Okay, so the reason D is incorrect um, is because we're looking to place a barrier across all qubits. And what D is telling us, I can find my marker. And where did, how did it just disappear? What D is telling us, oh, there it is, is that we're placing a barrier uh, only on this one. But we're looking to place it on all of the ones that exist right here. And also, um, three doesn't exist. <laughs> um, you know, there's three qubits, but we start off counting at zero, right? So we have the zeroth one, the first one, and the second one. So even if this was the case, like, this, this, this three doesn't exist in this because it goes zero, one, two, which we see in, we see in option B. Um, so that's, you know, two, a lot of the times in these, these uh, answers, there's multiple red flags. So the two red flags in that one be, there's no such thing as a third qubit in this example, and it's only placing a gate across one when we want it across all of them. So, um, you know, if you don't catch one red flag, hopefully you'll catch another one in the, the examples to rule them out. So D, let's see here, and this is, of course, they're, you know, they're switched, remember? So this one only places one barrier. Option C, okay. Um, 
I guess there's no way to put this, this, this nicely or you know, in a nicer way. This is correct because dot barrier with an empty um, set of parentheses places it across all of them. So I didn't put the justification there because um, you know, maybe I should. But um, you know, open, open parentheses places it across all bits. So that is what we want right there. Open parentheses places it across all bits. So that is why option C is correct. <clears throat> and then um, probably what's important for um, um, background information, um, the dot barrier command helps our compiler not simplify blocks of code that we don't want to be simplified. Um, normally what happens when you run it, if there's no barriers, um, if you have a long complicated circuit, it'll break it down into simpler parts so that way the runtime won't be as heavy on the machine. But barrier is specifically for making sure the compiler doesn't do that. So we want these, these parts unsimplified and you know, very, very direct that way. <clears throat> um, so that is why C is correct. Uh, option B. Let's see here. So this one goes through and places them individually. Um, brackets is a way, I don't know how to put it in a generalized term, but brackets means we want this um, component in multiple places. So if we scroll, or not scroll, but like, you know, put, go back on this one, this first in the parentheses, the component is the control bit. Um, so we want the control bit to be in multiple places. So that's why this, this parentheses exists. Right here, the parentheses, we only want one we only want one, we only want the control bit to appear one time or only to be used one time. So it's one uh, operation, but done across multiple places, like uh, individually, like. <coughs> so for this one, um, it'll be placed individually across the zeroth one, the first one, and the second one. So it's uh, you know, another example of it going a long way, but that is correct. And then we have A, QC barrier QC. Oh, this, is, this, trip, this tripped me up a, a couple times. Um, I looked at the notes. So this is the one where I was like, unfortunately. Uh, incorrect syntax. Unfortunately, I wish it worked like, I wish it was, it worked like this. Um, you cannot do this. This is one of those instances where I'm just like, I learned because of how many times I got it wrong. So just a lot of, a lot of practice. Um, so you cannot put the name of the circuit inside the argument of barrier. Um, there's probably a much better way to, to describe why it doesn't work, but you, know, you, just, you, just, you essentially just learn, like you can't do that. It's not, you know, it's not that simple. And that's how I ended up um, learning or remembering it. Um, so going over this problem, <coughs> barrier all does not exist. The only underscore all command that does exist, or the only one that matters right now for the exam is measure underscore all. So if you see underscore all as a, as a, a, a possible solution and it's not measure all, it's, it's wrong, you can rule it out automatically. Uh, option D, um, there are two red flags for this one. It only places the barrier across one um, qubit when we want it across all qubits. So that's part one. Um, and part two of why it's wrong is uh, our, the way we count qubits starts at zero. So if we have three, we go zero, one, two. Um, so this one uh, places it on the third you know, qubits, which does not exist because of how we count. So that's the two red flags and why D is incorrect. And then C, uh, QC.barrier is correct. Uh, open parentheses, it places it across all of them. B is correct because it individually places it across all of them. But make sure that um, if you're going to do this um, like kind of nitty gritty, you know, long way, make sure it's placed across all of them. Is, if this said, uh, one, two, you'd be missing the zero with qubit. So this answer would be incorrect. The only reason it's correct is because it does cover all the qubits. And then A, um, you know, I wish it was this simple. I wish you could put uh, the name of the circuit, but it's, it's not. Um, you cannot put the name of the circuit inside the argument for barrier. I wish it was that simple, but that is why um, these answers are, are incorrect. <clears throat>